Welcome to Deep Thought. For every negative event, there is a positive reaction. And this is basically the law of the universe for, you know, for everything that happens, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's just nature. That's just nature. That's why you, I mean, it's, it's been throughout life. Have you ever personally just did something good? And then somehow that good came back to you later. Think about it. But then also, if you've done something bad, one way or the other, that comes back to you and stuff. I remember a time uh, when I was at school in school at American University. And I saw I was driving my car, I saw a friend of mine. And I said something, even though she was cool. You know how sometimes you mess with a friend or something and you say something and you think it's funny, but she ain't take it that way. She promptly cursed me out. Yeah, and two minutes later, I ran into the back of a car. <laughs> I was like, mm, yeah. And, you know, me and, me and her were great friends and stuff. And I apologize because I said I was just playing. But as they say, karma's a bitch. So I was like, hmm. So I was thinking about that because let's just be real. We got a lot of negative stuff in the, in the news. A lot of doom and gloom depending on which news station you watch. And let's focus on what people are considering bad. Like, as of the recording of this, we, you know, we had that uh, mass school shooting down in Texas. As of the recording of it, by the time this comes out, it might be something else that happened because there's always been some mass shootings uh, or shootings in other places. Um, I'm going to tell you what, for all of that's happening, what we're not seeing is... The reaction. Now, as far as the shootings, people are talking more about gun control and um, better checks on who actually get the guns and everything. Okay. But we never know who it influences. We never know someone who might have lost someone in that. They might grow up and become or a politician or who will make significant changes or a business person that will make significant changes or a spiritual leader. We don't know, or they might, people might start um, some type of movement. You know, someone could uh, say, hey, we need to really work on the mental health thing. There's always something. There's always something. Now, one of the things is, of course, as a society, we don't focus enough on the good that comes from something. This ain't saying the bad should be looked at. Oh, well, that happened, but this happened. No, not like that. But there's going to be, if you have something bad, there's going to be a reaction that's positive. We're just not going to see it just, just by the nature of society. And then that's the general thing. We can see that on small levels. We can see that on small levels. That's why it's important to, to stand up and to really stand up when you feel moved to. Because you never know what this catalyst is for something. You never know. And it could be years. I can, there's something that was a catalyst for basically how I live my life and what I do now, but I keep that to myself. But if I had never saw, wit well, I didn't witness it I, directly. It's something I saw on TV as a child. If I never saw that at that particular moment, well, you might not be listening to me talk right now, or I might be talking about something totally different. My life might have went in a uh, uh, a more negative direction. But of course, there would have been a response to that. And I'm saying all of this to understand, yeah, there's plenty of bad stuff happening. It's really bad. The thing is, ask yourself two things. One, what can you do about it? And two, okay, where's the reaction to it? Because there's a lot of stuff. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. One of the things with the news and everything... They make their money being in shock. Yeah, they have a feel-good story and everything. But let's be real. They make their money by keeping you in shock and everything. And then there's some people, they'll actually try to use it to fulfill their agenda. Like anything that has any political angle to it, I don't care which side of the aisle you're on. If you have any involvement 
any interest in politics, uh, I don't care what happens, somebody will try to use it to their advantage. It is what it is. But then on another level, you don't know the good. You don't know the good. Like someone might watch a news story about there being food deserts in predominantly black communities, black and poor communities. You know, one grocery store in a five mile radius, one grocery store. Someone might see, like, if somebody sees that now, they see that's a bad thing. That might be the person inspired to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to create a grocery store. I'm going to create a grocery store, and then that can lead to a chain, a big conglomerate. Uh, someone else, I've known someone else who uh, haven't, haven't seen him personally um, in years. So I would call him an, an acquaintance. But he has, uh, he's big on urban farming because he saw a problem, something negative. You know, he's a, he's a brother. He was um, in a neighborhood where um, many of the people were not getting just good vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Now, this dude is a serious, well-known urban farmer. And um, I'll just say he's in uh, the Virginia area and stuff. But he that was his reaction to it. You know, you always have people that step up. Because everything, understand something, what we generally consider negative and understand that, shoot, that's a whole other conversation because for everything negative, somebody else sees some good in it. But that's a whole other conversation. But for everything that is generally considered negative, something positive is happening somewhere as a result of it. We, Like I say, we might not see, we might not see it right now and it could be happening right now. We just not... It's not pointed out to us, or we're not in a position to witness it. But 40 years from now, they'll say, hey, all of this, the society we have now, came as a result of this incident, this incident, this incident. Everything is a response. Unfortunately, for everything that would generally be considered good, there's going to be some response to it. There's going to be some response. It is what it is. And indeed, that's just the nature of things. You know, that's why you have countries who, nations, empires that will rise up, be at the top, and then come down, and then some, someone who was on the down part would eventually come up. It's inevitable. You know, it's a rhythm to how things happen in the universe. It's a rhythm to it. So just understand, yeah, we got all this negative stuff in the news. There's some positive things happening. There's some positive things happening. And it might not be apparent right this second, but there will be a change because that's inevitable. Um, that's the only inevitability about life. Things will change. It's just a question, do you benefit from the change in that? You know? So I want y'all to think about that. Regardless of everything happening, stay positive. Look for the good that's happening. If you're so moved, you might be the good that's happening. All right? So, that's all I have for today. I want y'all to really think about what I just said. All right? Talk to y'all on Sunday. Peace and blessings.